Hey, my name is Emilio and thank you so much for joining me on this video today. You've got yourself, I've got myself a Synology NAS and you wanna know how to actually get it running with DHCP, essentially making it into a DHCP server so that you can push out IP addresses out to your network. It's very, very easy to do and it's built in right into the tools within your Synology NAS. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, so we're now gonna log into our Synology NAS uh, and show you what to do. Now, I do have a newer version of a Synology NAS, but it should be okay for you. As long as you're keeping your operating system up to date on your Synology NAS, you should be fine. Now, before we do get into that, please remember, as always, to subscribe, clicking on that uh, bell right there so you don't miss out on anything that I've got going on on my channel. Now, we have logged in as an admin. Um, I would recommend that you log in as the, a administrator for your Synology NAS to be able to do this. Now, what we're gonna to need to do is we, need, we now need to configure our Synology NAS to act as a DHCP server. So by default, when you've set up your Synology NAS, you've probably gone and assigned an IP address to it. And that's great, it's running a static IP. Um, and hopefully, you're not using DHCP already on your network somewhere. Because if you're running DHCP somewhere on your network, we're gonna have a conflict somewhere. So just make sure that you're not running DHCP server somewhere out on your network. It could be on a router, it could be on another server, because if you install another one, there could be some conflicts and we don't wanna do that. So we're assuming that you've got a static IP on your Synology NAS and you don't have any other DHCP services running on your network. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna open up the control panel. Okay, this is an area right here. Now the great thing about the Synology NAS is that the features that you need are already built into the Synology NAS. You don't have to go and install anything new, so it makes it very, very easy to set up. Under connectivity, you'll see that there's this little icon here that says DHCP server. Excellent, it's right in here. So we can select that, and you'll see that by default it is disabled. So in my case, my NAS has got two LAN points, LAN one and LAN two. Yours may have more, yours may have just one. Doesn't matter, you could be running a new Synology NAS or an older one, the process will be fairly similar, but that is disabled by default. So what we need to do is we now need to go and actually enable our LAN ports to act uh, with DHCP, okay? So we're gonna edit one of these and we're gonna now tick on enable DHCP server right here. Now, if you do wanna get a bit of a refresh, a recap on DHCP and how it functions and what it does, do check out that video at the very top there where I go into a little bit more detail about it. So our primary DNS is, well, what do you want the DNS IPs to be sent out to your network to be? So you wanna go put those in there. So I'm gonna put in my primary DNS server, which is this one. And then a secondary, I'll just put in uh, my Google IP and my domain name, which is home demo dot com okay so this is information that's going to be pushed out and deployed against computers that are seeking an ip uh, do you want to enable a web proxy well no i'll leave that blank now we're going to select add right under here okay so what we're going to do here is we now actually set the scope of our dhcp service essentially what is the first ip that you want to use what is the last ip that you want to use let's say we'll define 172.16.1 dot 80 through to 172 16.1.200. So that's the two that we wanna be using, 80 through to 200. So when a computer pings your network looking for a DHCP server, it's gonna go, ah, this is acting as a DHCP server and it'll allocate an IP between 80 and 200. What is your net mask? 255, 255, 255 .0. Again, your net mask, this is a slash, they call it a slash 24. And the gateway, this is your router IP address. So what is the router IP? 172.16.1.254. Uh, you need to know what your IP is. Now, in my case, you'll see that I'm using a 172.16 range. You could be using on your network a 192.168.1 range, for example. So you set the range that you are using within your network or the range that you want to be using within your network. The address lease time is how long do you want an IP to be allocated to a device before it is removed? Essentially, a it could be, say, 24 hours where a device is using that IP for 24 hours and then after 24 hours, that IP gets removed or released from that computer 
And then that computer has to go back out to the network and say, hey, DHCP server, where are you? I need a new IP because my last one has expired. And that's essentially the least time, how long you want that to be. So this is going to be in minutes. So what we'll do just for the demo, we're gonna say, uh, 60 minutes. So every 60 minutes, every hour, it's going to go out and try to look for a new um, IP address. Now, what are some other things that you perhaps want to send through? So it doesn't have to just be the IP range, the gateway, the DNSs, but you can actually push out other things as well. NTP is a good one, which is the time server. Um, and there's other things that you can actually push out. So other values. So it does actually give you a few other options, which is good, but we're going to just leave that as the default. And now we're going to select create. Okay, that is now ready to go. You can create another other actual um, uh, IP range. If you have, say, for example, you want your clients to be on one range, you want your servers to be on a different range, you want your phones to be on a different range, you can actually add all of these into there as well. You then tick on enable right there to make that actual lease active. And now we select OK. And now it is enabled on LAN 1. So LAN 1 is going to be using my DHCP. You can disable it right there. You can edit it by going back into there and actually adding more things. Now, if you do want to know a bit more information around your actual clients, you can go into DHCP clients right in here. And what will happen is as your computers on the network, search the network for an IP address. Again, it's not just computers, it's actually devices such as your smartphones um, and other things on your network. Anything that tries to get an IP address, that will start to show up uh, right in here. And you can actually uh, clear them, you can edit them, you can do some other you know, changes within those actual um, IPs themselves. So that is the simple steps. Um, it's not too difficult. Um, and you can enable that against each of your LAN points as you so choose to. So hopefully that is now working for you and you've got DHCP now running on your network, on your Synology NAS. If you are interested, you can pick up the Synology NAS that I have got. It is one of the new ones. It is brilliant, it is fast, it is I absolutely love it. In the description, I've got it right there so you can go and pick it up from Amazon. Uh, that would be great. If you did find this video helpful, please let me know in the comments. I really do hear your comments and uh, you know I wanna make my, my channel better. So knowing what you think really does mean a lot to me. Please also like this video if you did like it and click on that subscription button if you do uh, wanna know more about my channel, clicking on the bell so that you don't miss out on any of my video releases. Thank you so much for spending the time. We'll see you next time.